Hello everybody, welcome to my first tutorial video. My name is Sean and uh, I'm going to be talking about how to install WordPress on your website. Now this is not meant for people who have paid hosting. Please take note of that because people who do typically have an option to click uh, one click install WordPress which basically installs WordPress with one click. Um, we're not going to be doing that, we're going to be installing WordPress basically manually um, through your FTP client on a free web host. So let's get started on step one. Step one, let's first get WordPress. So to do this, open up your browser and go to wordpress.org and you're going to want to click download download save the file now once you have WordPress downloaded you're going to want to open it up and you're going to want to extract to and you are going to want to select the location of which you want to place uh, WordPress uh, we're just going to place it on uh, the desktop for now because later on we're going to be uh, moving it over into our FTP client to upload it to our web host. Um, but for now, let's just place it on our desktop. So go ahead and uh, select desktop, hit OK. Uh, you won't, you shouldn't see this message. Uh, this message is actually only here because I previously extracted it to my desktop. I should have deleted it before this video, but I, anyways. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and click that. And uh, so yeah, you'll be here at this point. Um, so I close that, uh, minimize your browser, and on your desktop you should see your newly created folder, WordPress. So let's continue on with step two. Step two. Now in this section, we're gonna be making a database. Um, I'm not expecting anyone to understand what this is, and quite frankly, this information doesn't matter. All you need to do is follow me for now, okay? So open up your browser, <clears throat> and you wanna to go to your web host. Now I'm with a company that I don't even care for their name, but I know to type 000. Yes, okay, so these guys, 000webhost.com. And I'm going to go ahead and log in. And you're going to want to go to your C panel, control panel, whatever it's called on your domain or your web host, I don't care. Um, and on this, I'm going to go to. MySQL and you're going to want to make a database name I'm going to choose blog because this is a blog and the username I'll put blog1 just for simplicity purposes now this is already I guess showing my password I've used before so I'm just going to keep that Now here, you're going to want to go and you're not going to want to go away from this page. You're going to want to keep this information. Alright, let's get started on step three. So with that information that you just got for your database, we are going to be using that information and putting it in the file that is in this folder. Um, this file is going to be called wp-config-sample. So you're going to want to right click and choose edit or you can open it with your favorite HTML editing program. Um, this is very simple so I'm just going to click edit and I'm going to use notepad for Windows. So minimize this for now and go back to your web host and if you wrote down that information that is great, if not you can always access your database information through your web host which is what I'm going to do. cPanel, SQL, and here's my information right here. So now, open back the text file again, and you'll see 
these four things here. Right here is where we're going to be editing. We're going to be changing the values of these within these um, parentheses here. I don't even know if that's the right word, but uh, okay. So for my database name here, I am going to be changing that with this right here. It doesn't say name, but it, let's just say let's just pretend it does. So we're going to right-click, copy, back to Notepad, database name here, right-click, paste, and voila, there is step one of four. And just keep repeating this uh, for the next information here. So the user. And the host. Now I'm going to skip out on the step where I put in my password. Um, just because uh, for privacy reasons. Oops, that's in the wrong spot. Um, I'm going to put my password right here, but um, the MySQL host, this guy right here, he's going to go right here, host name. Okay, so in the next video we are going to be uploading these files um, and basically configuring our new blog. Step four. In this step, we're going to be taking those files that we just, um, the file that we edited, wp-config-sample, and we're going to rename that, actually. Um, we're going to rename it to wp-config. Um, I'm actually not sure why we even did that, uh, but that's the step, or that's the way I've always done it. So what I do is delete wp-config, and then right click wp-config-sample and choose rename so rename that to wp-config and then hit enter okay now what we're going to do is open up our FTP client I like cute FTP and log into your web host and go to your main folder so basically this is my website here that I've created um, to install WordPress to this there's a number of options you can do um, you can actually copy the, f the files from uh, from here and basically drag it right over if you would like um, and then it would install it right onto your main page of your website but what I'm gonna do is create a subdirectory and I'm gonna call it blog okay now when they go to my website all they have to do is type my website URL slash blog that's a forward slash so I'm going to go ahead and double click that folder to enter it. Now it's blank, so what we're going to do is add some files to it. So go back to your folder with all of your files for WordPress and highlight everything. I'm just going to press Control A to make it easier. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click anything that's highlighted and I'm going to drag it right over into the FTP client. Now, I'm actually going to uh, pause the video here and continue when this is done because this actually takes quite a while. Um, it really depends on your host and your network connection and all that kind of stuff. But um, on mine, at least, it takes uh, 10 or 15 minutes. So I don't think you guys want to sit here for that. Step five. This is going to be the last section of our uh, tutorials. Um, so once everything's uploaded to your web host, um, open up your browser and go to your website and then put forward slash blog forward slash wp-admin 
slash install dot php. This is going to bring you to a screen where you're going to have a couple options to uh, put in your username, your password, and uh, stuff like that. Now I'm going to hit enter, but on mine it's going to show a different screen um, than yours because I've already installed mine. So, but it's very straightforward. You shouldn't really need a tutorial for this part. And then afterwards, uh, you're going to be brought to this screen um, after you've entered your username and password, where you'll click log in. And um, this is pretty much the last part of it. This is where you can edit everything. Uh, you can go to appearance. You can change the theme. Uh, here's posts. You can uh, make a new post to add a new blog post. Um, you got your options here. Um, so that's it. Thank you for watching, and I hope this has helped you.